cosmologists have recently realized that the Planck data have discredited a lot of their ideas about inflation. As these astrophysicists noted, thanks to the Planck mission, the Big Bang's inflationary paradigm is now in trouble. The models most favored by their data, combined with earlier results, suffer from exacerbated forms of initial conditions and multiverse problems, and they create a new difficulty that we call the inflationary unlikeliness problem. That is, the favored inflaton potentials are exponentially unlikely, according to the logic of the inflationary paradigm itself. The unlikeliness problem arises even if we assume ideal initial conditions for beginning inflation, ignore the lack of predictive power stemming from eternal inflation and the multiverse, and make no comparison with alternatives. Thus, the three problems are all independent, all emerge as a result of the data, and all point to the inflationary paradigm encountering troubles that it did not have before. Um, now, there are some recent data that we're getting that uh, we need to an analyze. The Planck satellite measures the cosmic microwave background radiation. And a, a few years ago, there was a significant amount of new data that came out that allowed us to evaluate certain multiverse theories, etc. And um, this guy, the gentleman seen at the top right there, Paul Steinart, he, he makes some pretty good arguments that we have some reason from this data that would mitigate against the multiverse, and in particular, the leading multiverse theory of eternal inflation. And just, he's got much more to say about this. So this is one provocative statement. Just so you know, Steinhardt is not some lightweight. He's the director of the Princeton Center for Theoretical Physics. He's, he's the Einstein professor in science. So he's kind of in that chair now. He's got one of the cooler titles around there. But he says in a multiverse, each measured cosmological parameter represents an independent test of the multiverse. In a sense, one could expect large deviations from any, of the, any one of the naive predictions. The more observables one tests, the greater the chance of many deviations from the naive predictions. Hence, it is surprising that the Planck 2013 data, that's the data three years ago from this Planck satellite, that it agrees so precisely with the naive predictions derived by totally ignoring the multiverse and assuming purely uniform slow roll down the potential. In other words, he's looking at a version of inflation that wouldn't necessarily entail the multiverse and saying, well, this explains the data. We don't, we don't need to, uh, and in fact, he says it's surprising if there was a multiverse version of this that you would have the measurements that, that we actually had. Uh, because it, these kind of multiverse scenarios, this chaotic inflation, ends up producing wildly varying things. And so why do we get this simple version of things that is exactly what you would predict with a much simpler non-multiverse model? This was the Planck data recently, and the Planck data forms of inflation that support a bubble universe can be tested by cosmic background observations. The Planck data prefer a Starobinsky flat potential and disfavor the phi squared potential that gives, that gives eternal chaotic inflation according to Andre Linde. And so this is from the Planck analysis of the data.